Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome to episode two of Scotty Does DIY. This episode is actually gonna be a cool episode where I show you guys how to make a wind muffler for your camera. Now, this will pretty much work for any camera because of the way I've sort of done it. It's really, really simple and it's really, really easy to do and it's super, super cheap. So, this is what it's gonna end up looking like. Ding, ding, ding. How cool is that? Little wind muffler on there. So I'm going to show you guys how to fit this onto a camera and I'm going to do this for Ali's camera so I'll do like a step by step of how to do it. First of all I'll show you guys what you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need to buy is the damage free free hanging hooks. Now you don't actually need the hooks. What you're going to want is the little plastic tabs, sticky tabs that it comes with. This is what we're going to use to stick the muffler onto the camera. Next up, you're gonna need some sort of material to use as a muffler. Now, I was going around the shops and I was trying to find something really, really cheap and we went to the Euro store. Now, I was going through the Euro store and I came across this, a roller paintbrush. Now, basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off, the roller, we're gonna cut this and then we're gonna use this material as our muffler. You're also gonna need pair of scissors, a kniff, and a chopping board. I'm gonna take Ali's camera off here, put my camera on, and then we're gonna fit this to Ali's camera. So this is Ali's camera without the wind muffler. Let's see how it performs against this fan. So this is with the screen down. So we'll set it on number one. See if you can hear the wind. So that's number one. Let's go number two. Number two. I don't even know if you can hear the wind. Let's go number three. Number three. Oh. Let's move this fan around a little bit just so the bottle's flying over. Get the effect of the wind. So this is my camera in exactly the same position. Let's go number one. Let's go number two. And number three. This is even my camera, like, fully in the fan. Like, right up against it. Okay, so I just actually listened to the differences uh, of those two recordings quickly, and wow, the wind muffler seems to work really, really well on my camera. So, what we're gonna do is we've got Ali's camera here, and we are going to fit it on this one. Now, uh, as you can see, we have the two little holes here, and basically that is the microphone on either side, left and the right microphone. The only thing you won't be able to use is the flash, because the flash pops up, and we're gonna have to stick the sticky tab over the flash. Now, that would be a problem if the flash was actually decent on this camera, which it isn't, it's really, really crappy, so we never use the flash. So it's not really a problem. So first of all, what we need to do is get a little sticky pad that's like this. And basically the black side will be going down on the camera and then the blue side will be having the material stuck to it. Now, I've already cut this out of the last one. So basically this is the other roller that I used and you can see how it has like basically a bit of material on the back. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to keep that material on, don't get a hole in that. But obviously the sticky side you're going to want to cut a hole in because if you do cover it up without a hole in this, you're not going to be able to hear anything. This is where it gets a little bit fiddly because you're going to have to cut it out with a knife. And remember, the hole is tiny, so you don't want to cut like a big, big section out of this. Draw like a little square as what you're going to cut out. Flip it over and then do the other side. Just watch your fingers, obviously. So you end up with a hole like that, a little square hole. You're gonna to wanna to grab a little bit of tissue and you're just gonna to wanna to wipe the top of the camera, just make sure it's clean. You wanna peel off the black sticky side. That. And then you want to stick it down over the hole. Make sure you get it right in the corners of the camera because it's all on different angles. Right on there, make sure you stick it down probably. And obviously don't cover the hole. And then you want your sticky tab facing inwards as well. Next thing you need to do is get your material that you've peeled off your thing. Basically you want to do a bit of measuring on here. Um, and you want to get it exact, so put the uh, material on with the, the blue side. So we're going to mark a square out of it like that, so we know where to cut. And then we want to cut this out. Some of it's going to come off. Just take the loose bits off. Peel the next section off like this. Boom. And then you're going to want to stick this onto the camera. So there you go, that's the first side done. So when you cut this off and you unravel it, you're going to be left with this material. So like I was just saying, square it off, make sure it's the right size, cut it off. You don't need to put a hole in this material, it's already got holes in, you can still hear your voice through that material, so that's fine. And then just peel off the second side of the sticky tape and basically just stick it down. And there you go, there's going to be a little bit of material coming off. Um, you just want to clean it up with your fingers like this, just make sure you get all the loose little bits off. And basically this is really, really good because if you ever want to change this, I mean depending on how long, like, this material lasts on top of here. I mean, it's not gonna last years. Do you know what I mean? You're gonna have to do it like every now and again, maybe every six months or every three months, I don't know. It just depends how long that material lasts, especially how well you look after your camera as well. But the really good thing about this sticky pad is you can just peel it off when you're finished with it and there's gonna be no marks left on your camera because it literally leaves no marks. It's, that's what it's designed to do, like leave no marks on the walls. So I hope you enjoyed this little DIY video. Really cool, simple way of getting yourself a little wind muffler on your camera. You can also buy these off Amazon for, not, they're not even that expensive, but if you want to do it yourself, a little bit of fun, a little bit of creativity, then you can do. This is a really simple way of doing it. A few people have used Velcro in the past. I was going to use Velcro, but it's just so chunky and so big and it just like it just make a mess of my camera as well so i thought this would be a really good idea using these sticky tabs it just yeah you can take it off your camera and there's no marks if you want to know what my camera is the link is in the description and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up Hit subscribe down below if you want to see more content like this and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Shoot me a message on there and I'll reply back to you if you have any queries on how to make this muffler for yourself and I will see you again in a couple of days. Cheers guys, bye!